My name's Will Harvey. I work with businesses to get more out of their existing people and assets. And I'm joined here with Alex Carter. Alex is a health and performance coach, and he works with business owners, uh, busy professionals and executives to improve their performance in their personal life and in their professional life. All of the clients that come on board with me, we, we use these three pillars, right? So the first one is about understanding exactly what outcomes the client wants, where do they want to get to. Then we put in place some things that are going to physically and mentally energize them. So it might be getting them exercise on a consistent schedule. It might be freeing up time so that they don't feel so stressed or overwhelmed. It might be putting in place some high performance routines in the morning and the evening that keep them consistent. And then the final phase about optimization, which is for me, I kind of view optimization with two parts. Increase the intensity and then reflect on what's gone well, what can we do better? So that's kind of the main framework, but we base all of the work we do on four pillars of transformation, which is um, there has to be an exercise component, right? a movement component. There has to be a nutrition and energy component. And for successful professionals that might have failed in the past, the main reason that they failed is because they don't look at the third pillar, which is lifestyle and high performance routines. And then the fourth and final pillar, which in my opinion is the most important, is your mindset, your mindset or motivation, which is essentially how you think or the inner dialogue that you've got going on in your head. When those four pillars um, are addressed in the same way or with the same balance, we start to see transformation last for not only uh, 12 weeks right, or in 12 weeks, but to actually go on and to last for 12 years plus. I mean, that, that's a pretty solid like level of results, right? Like eight or nine out of 10, like 80, 90% of people get a result when they come work with you. Like what's different about what you do compared to like a traditional route, like um, you know, PT, diet plans, that, that, that kind of thing? Uh, it's not just health and fitness. We look at holistic things that stop people performing. And that means having a different skill set, understanding some of the mental components, understanding some of the emotional components. Um, I've studied psychology for three, four years, right? have a decade of health and fitness experience, but I've also worked in larger organizations for seven, eight, nine years plus. And so that combination allows me to work with clients holistically and to drive outcomes that they want. What do they want? Like what's the, the desired outcome for them? I think the difference with performance coaching as opposed to life coaching, for example, is there's always an outcome. There's always a result. So at the beginning of any program or any engagement, the first thing that we do is get clarity exact clarity on what it is that that client is working towards what they want as an outcome generally speaking most clients will get lose about 10 kilograms on the program um, the man staring back at them in the mirror is much more closely aligned to the image that they've got in the head they've started to balance their work with other areas of their life but they've increase their energy levels so that they can show up consistently in all of the areas of their life that are important to them. They're starting to be more productive at work, getting more done in less time. And then that's freeing up time to spend with the kids or time with their partner. But not only that, they're learning a system in 12 weeks that will last for 12 years plus. And I know maybe that sounds a little bit like, okay, the bullshit meter's going off, but what we're fundamentally doing here is starting to rewire or reprogram your mindset, starting to instill habits and behaviors that just start to happen a little bit more automatically, starting to focus on the outer game, the structure, the schedule that allow you to free up time to do the things that you want to do, and then focusing on the inner game, the mindset that allows you to reach peak performance and keep at that level for a, cons a sustained period of time. Why is that a benefit? Like, why is your experience in corporate, like in that environment, why does that translate into better results for your clients? Like, why does that help you to, to get better results for them? I think there's two main reasons there. One is understanding that people that are operating at the top of their game from a business perspective, they're working 10, 12, 14 hours a day. And so, as you say, they don't have the time with young families to be able to get to the gym four, five, six times a week. They can't just do meal plans or diet plans. And the diets that they do go on, they end up coming off because it's not sustainable. So understanding that look, if you can just exercise three 
times 30 minutes a week to start with, like that's enough to get a result. Right? Understanding that it's not about a diet, it's about a subtle lifestyle change. So we use something called conscious consistency as a protocol, which is about making conscious awareness or being more consciously aware of what you're eating and then consistently making micro adjustments in the way in which you eat over time. And I think the second thing to consider is like why why it's different and why it works is accountability. So on the program, I hold my clients ruthlessly accountable, but then about halfway through, I take a bit of a step back because I want to teach them self accountability so that after they finish 12 weeks or maybe it's slightly longer, maybe some clients will work for, with me for six months, they can actually stand on their own two feet and go after the things that they want to consistently without the help of another coach or professional. What kind of struggles have you had? For me, the biggest challenge has been trying to ditch the all or nothing mindset where you think, well, I'll just go put everything into this, or actually I'll just kick it into touch and I'll pick it up next week. Actually starting to approach things with a bit more balance, trying to show up consistently, and maybe not doing everything that one day, but knowing that if you do a little bit less one day, but you view your uh, the cycle of like a weekly cycle and start to spread your energy out over that week, you can get more done and you can get to be more efficient, more focused uh, and more driven without actually having that down period, whether it's a day, a week, a month, or even some people spend years in that kind of, oh, I've just kicked it into touch, I'll do that later. I'll work but, about later. Have you found that hard, like dropping the all or nothing? Absolutely. It's... Um, because it's a mindset, because it's programmed, because it's habitual, there is the part of you that just wants to always do that because that's what you've always done. Part and of you or part of you? Part, part of me, right? But, but also a number of the clients that I've coached, it's got them to where they are in their career. It's what's allowed them to succeed in the past. But what has got you to a certain point won't necessarily allow you to succeed moving forwards. And it's what tends to keep them stuck particularly from like a, a balance, control, and a health and fitness perspective. So what's the best next step from here? The easiest thing for people to do is to book a call or to slide into the DMs and book a performance diagnostics call.